Hello, uh, I'm Ben. You rarely see my face, but uh, hi, I'm I'm me. Uh, I'm gonna go through all of the gear that I currently use for drums. My studio is currently being redone. I'm buying a lot of gear for it, so excuse the mess. Um, so, um, thanks for watching. Please like, uh, comment, uh. And subscribe if you are watching. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, share it, do whatever. So let's get on with the video. So getting on with the first piece of gear, we're gonna go to here. This is my drum studio, by the way, which is out in my back garden. Got my drums. Got a bit of acoustic stuff. A bit of acoustic yeah solution going on around uh, acoustics and stuff, just to spread out the room. And um, I'll get over to my kit last because that's the important bit. But the first thing we're gonna look at are my in-ear monitors. So, we're going to look at these, these amazing pieces of kit are, by me audio, these are extremely affordable um, in it, these are the me audio M7 Pros, and um, if you play with Sure, you pay like 100 quid for a single driver, for like their cheap line of in-ears, you pay 150 dollars, I'm in Ireland so I pay Euro, 150 dollars for this. And it's a dual driver, dual hybrid driver with a subwoofer, so the bass is unbelievable. These are amazing. I'm gonna open them uh, quickly and show you uh, how it looks because these are just like regular. Um, if I can open them with one hand, uh, these are just. Uh, Sorry for the camera work. Oh, there we go. These are great. So they're just like regular, clear, uh, in-ear monitors. They're incredibly good and really nice. I just have to kind of fat tip things on them. Uh, clear wire the whole way down with your regular just phone jack on the end of it. They also give you a spare wire. You can probably see the spare wire there and the quarter inch input for your headphones. The spare wire is for uh, has a microphone on it's off for your phone so there are my inner monitors now moving on to the next part I'm going to show you here this is my corner where all of my spare gear is that's uh, my mate Jamie's guitar I'm in a band called 10 to 8 that's his guitar he's actually the bassist but he has a guitar too I've got cymbal bag cheap from gift music just around drum cases loads of heads including a dirty old signed if I can find it signed Simon Phillips head and Simon Phillips the drummer from Toad. I went to a clinic with him. It was unbelievable My old my very first pro proper drum kit. My very first drum kit was like a plastic piece of crap This is my first proper drum kit. This is a Pearl Target series. They don't even make these anymore It's just oh, There I am. Hello. Uh, it's just um an old Series of kit now the exports are beginner series. So that's my old kit Moving around, I got my desk, which is just like, there's nothing in here. I've got the the 12 inch tom off my main kit, and then I've got the floor tom off of the uh, Pearl Target series. I got some old symbols there. I got a Power Stroke 3 clear, uh, which I just have. Uh, this is the amp corner. Some small ass amps, including the Rolling Cube 15. Everybody loves Rolling Cubes. I love Rolling Cubes. I play a little bit of bass as well, so they're awesome. Spare cymbal stand. Now, moving on to my. Kind of the reason I'm making this video because. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around for a minute. A lot of people don't realize that small companies are incredibly good at what they do. And for drums, especially, there's a, lot of lo a load of small companies out there that are incredibly good. So I'm going to show you some drumsticks that I'm a huge fan of and I think everybody should buy or at least try. So the current sticks that I'm using are these. These are London Drumstick Company 5A Acorn Tip Hickory. These are phenomenal. I adore these drumsticks. I wouldn't even play, go back to any of the bigger brands. These play like Vicfort and they were great but these are just Amazing. I met their staff at the Galway Drum Show. As you can see, I've been laying into them horrendously. Um, their staff. Uh, we're, we're at the Galway Drum Show. I was at the uh, the Galway Drum Show. And it was uh, 
amazing. I met their staff. They were super nice, uh, super friendly, and I fell in love with their sticks. And I'm absolutely a massive, massive fan of their uh, sticks. So everybody, go check them out on LondonDrumstickCompany.com. I think there's an EU and an American side to the page so you'll be able to wherever you're living you can buy their sticks there they do some amazing custom made sticks as well moving on to the kit symbols hardware so the current kit that I'm using is my pride and joy it's the only proper drum kit I have ever used this is a sonar as I zoom in dramatically AQ1 Birch shell kit now I'm a huge fan I play in a relatively heavy band and I love pop kits, I love how pop kits sound, I love how they look. So I like having the 14 which is over there, it's the 14, um, right there, but uh, I'm currently just really really enjoying having, because I tend to like lay into my ride symbol which is just there, uh, I tend to lay into my ride and I like having it as like a crash so it's nice to have it over the kick. So right now I'm running Sonar AQ1, the sizes that comes with are 10, I don't know the actual so 10 inch uh, birch, 12 inch birch and 14, so your standard pop sizes and a 20 inch kick. Pearl's mountain system is amazing, uh, not Pearl, I'm going Pearl, uh, Sonar are an amazing company, I, I love Sonar, I played Pearl and they were great, but Sonar, this is just amazing, I love these kits and I'm a huge fan of Benny Grapes, that's another thing. Uh, hardware wise... Sonar stuff, the hi-hat stand is Sonar, the ride stand is Sonar, and the stand which the stack is on there is also Sonar. Um, obviously stands are Sonar, except for the high, the symbol stand here is just a cheap Millennium, because the other Sonar, actually I'm using all three Sonars that are on this kit, um, I think. I've got like another Millennium there, which I can probably gonna switch out for my ride in a little bit. Moving on to the symbols and heads and stuff, so the kit came, these are still the stock heads. These are... Very, very amazing. Oh, the throne is also Sonar. Um, very, very amazing Remo pinstripes, which I have cranked there with a little slap clap moon gel on it. I have a 14 inch Tom, which is also running a Remo pinstripe tuned quite low, but I also have a snare weight on it because I like a nice dead Tom sound. Snare wise, now the snare, I'm going to move around here. So sorry for the shake, I'm actually going to sit down at the kit. There is the Sonar AQ1 snare. It comes with a 14 by 5 and a half, I think, snare. Uh, sorry for all the shaking as I get in here on the kit. So, kit view, this is what it looks like. Um, Beautiful. Uh, absolutely beautiful. So, there are the heads, pinstripes with slap clats and snare weight on this. Symbols wise, currently in the process of buying new symbols, I think I'm going to go with Dream, but just with the symbols that I have now. 14 inch Zildjian ZBT hats, you know what, for the price, not bad. My newest edition, this is my favourite thing ever. This is an 18 inch Sabian, AAX, uh, this oh, as my sticks go falling from the camera, uh, 18 inch suspended crash, so. Super, super washy. Uh, ride wise, 20 inch Sabian B8 Pro Medium. Which, you know what? Isn't that bad to crash on. And, uh, Minel 12 inch. Uh, I love this thing. This is an amazing little stack for the price. Minel 12 inch uh, HCS. They're affordable range of stacks. Pedal wise, I'm actually currently using a uh, super cheap gear from music uh, standard um, like pedal. Uh, it's like 20 quid and it's great. Um, oh, and the snare head wise, now this is a great thing as well. Snare head, Evans HD dry, or Evans just dry as an HD dry. No, it's a generic dry, not an HD dry, with a winter gel on it. And the snare is actually my little pride and joy. I don't know if you can just see that there. Yeah, you can. That is a Gretsch Steel uh, Taylor Hawkins signature. Taylor Hawkins, drummer from the Food Fire, is insane drummer as everybody knows. This is his signature snare. Um, it's 14 inches and it's black with his logo on it. And Gretsch, this is amazing because I bought this from a sale, which I got for like I got for like 200 quid, and it was amazing. Um, 
that's really it. Vader brushes, um, drum key, just cheap ass drum key, uh, more winter gel, and a sonar, a Gibraltar clutch. I'm currently using the sonar clutch that came with it. So that is really it. Um, this whole video was kind of just to make. I think it was really cool having uploaded in ages, and also that you don't need uh, expensive gear for your drums to sound good. Like these symbols, the most expensive symbol on this kit is a Sabian, and that was like a hundred quid on sale, and everything else is cheap. Uh, I've had these symbols since I was like eight. These sticks, like I said, everybody go check them out. London Drums and Company, phenomenal sticks. Everybody needs to go check them out because they're great, and I love them so much. Um, and that's really it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, before you go. I uh, just want to let you guys know, uh, SoundCloud wise, go check out my new band, Black Gold, we're a heavy blues rock band from Dublin, they're awesome, also if you want to go on to Spotify and look up 10 to 8, we had we brought out an EP in like November last year called Creative Difference, love that EP, so go check that out too, um, thank you guys for watching so much, if you like what you see, there will definitely be more videos coming soon, especially playing videos because I just want to get onto YouTube and stuff, I haven't done it in ages, same, follow the Instagram, uh, which will be tagged in the description. Follow the Instagram, follow the SoundCloud, follow the Spotify. Um, thank you so much for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, goodbye.